Hi, my name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some RPA. Today we'll take a close look at the RPA software another Monday. We'll try out some of the basic functions like whiles, ifs, assigns, even writing to a text document and some more. We will solve the case, the Fibonacci case, because that's the case in where we uh, come good around the basic functions. So first off, the Fibonacci numbers, that's a sequence of integers where the first two elements are one and each of the following elements is the sum of the two previous items. So here we got a function for it. We see that whenever x is less than or equal to two, then the Fibonacci number is one. And whenever x is greater than two, then it's the sum of the two previous items. So x is just the number of the Fibonacci number, it's just the number in the sequence. So for example, uh, here x is one, x is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And the corresponding uh, Fibonacci number to those x is just one, one, that's the two first, and then it's the sum of the uh, two previous items whenever we move past the two. So the case is that we should write a loop of the first 12 Fibonacci numbers and the following condition must be met. It must be a while loop. Addition should be made using an online calculator and um, the result must be entered into a notepad following by one second delay. And finally, we need to open uh, this web page. I think we will skip the web part and uh, take that in part two. So we will only be creating the Fibonacci loop in this video. Let's start. Here we got the sequence. First, we need to assign some variables. We see here that uh, we need a variable counting uh, what number where we are in the sequence, because we need 12 Fibonacci numbers. So we will make a counter. That will be an integer. We could call it x because that's what its name in the case. And that's an integer. We will set the default to one, hold on, here, because uh, it's one here, and then we will add one to it whenever it, ru it runs to the loop. So that was the first one. Then we need uh, two uh, Fibonacci uh, storage numbers, like the, init, the current Fibonacci number and the last Fibonacci number, because those that's the sum up here. So we'll create two more integers. Oh. Here, that will be the int fib. Let's name it one. That's the current. And let's make another one. Int fib two, integer. And we can take advantage that we know that they are one there in the first um, the first part here. So one one. I think we will just make the default value 1. We could use an assign up here, but it's easier just to set the default value to 1. Finally, we need uh, some sort of a string to write um, the Fibonacci sequence to, which is uh, this string. We need to write this string into the notepad. So um, that's our variables. We might introduce one more, but uh, let's create the Fibonacci loop first. So first, we were told that we, we have to use a while loop. Well, that was a good one because uh, that makes sense. But that was a hint. We will uh, drag in the while here. And this loop, the, it will uh, run and then it will look at the condition. So um, uh, the condition that will be that if the int x is less than or equal to 12, and then we need some sort of an assign in which, because it's one here. So if we don't do nothing, we will just create an unlimited loop, which is not ideal. It will just, uh, we will never stop and it will just print out Fibonacci numbers. I think our computer will break down at some point. So we will make an assign here. We will drag it in to the uh, last part of the loop. Well, there's nothing in it, but this will be the last part. and. We will add one to the counter here, the index, like this. So whenever we run the loop, first it is the index is one, then it will be two, three, up to twelve, and then uh, it will stop because uh, the condition is not met anymore. So 
what should we have in here? We, we need to write out 12 Fibonacci numbers. So this while loop is just uh, for to make a limit uh, to the Fibonacci numbers. If we wanted 20 Fibonacci numbers, well, then we just uh, would have changed this 12 to, to uh, 12 to 20. But now we need 12, so we make 12 here. Then we need an if because we got two cases. We got one case where x is less than or equal to 2, and one case if x is greater than 2. So let's find an if. Here, we'll drag it in above the int x counter. And the condition here is that int x is less than or equal to one uh, to two. And let's try to think uh, here. That's the first two Fibonacci numbers in which the Fibonacci numbers are just one. So, and we have we have assigned that the Fibonacci number is one. So we, we don't have to do anything here actually. So uh, in, in writing out the first two Fibonacci numbers, we will do nothing here. But we need to uh, write out uh, the Fibonacci number like the first time and then the second time one one. We need to write that to a string in which we can um, write to a notepad. So um, let's make another sign. Drag it in here. We will uh, write to our str fib. So that will be this one. And what should we write? We should write what's, whatever is in this string Fibonacci. And then we need um, to write out the current Fibonacci number in fib1. And then we need the .NET to string like this. And then we could make a space uh, in the end so that we will have a space between all our Fibonacci numbers. So like this. This will write out the, the Fibonacci numbers. This will actually write out 12 Fibonacci numbers up here. And it will all be ones because we haven't made any calculations, but that's okay for the first two. And then we will write it to a text file. So we'll find the activity write to text file, write text file here in the end. So outside the loop, we will write the variable str fib like this, then we click next. And now it asks for a directory or a variable. We'll just click OK here because we can uh, choose the file path, but we need to create that text document. So we'll minimize this. And I think we will just uh, open a text document or at least create it. We will call it uh, Fibonacci like this. And now we can point to it in the browse file here, the file path. So uh, the desktop Fibonacci here. Now it will write and it will override what it, what's ever in it. Now it's blank, but it. So let's try that. This one will just write out twelve numbers, and they will all be ones because we haven't made any calculations. At and the fib fib it fib it is one. Let's try that. Now it runs. Stopped. Let's look at the text document. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, so the first two, we are right about them, but now we need to calculate the other 10. Let's close this. Open the thing here. So we agreed that we, we don't need nothing here, but we need something here. And um, what do we need? We need to... Um, uh, add the two Fibonacci, the two previous Fibonacci numbers to each other, and then uh, store it into the new int Fib one. So that will be in the sign like this. We'll drag it over here. That will be the int Fib one equals int Fib one plus int Fib two, like this. This one should do it. However. We need to use the int fib. Uh, the, the current int fib one here needs to be stored into the int fib two, and uh, that needs to be done before this. But we need still need the old int fib two value. So we need two assigns: one in, right, one in front of this, and one, one uh, below it. And we need some sort of a store variable. So let's introduce a store variable, which essentially just store the value of the int fib one before uh, this addition takes place. So int store. And remember to change the scope to the whole scope. And we will drag in the sign before first. 
up here. That will be uh, int store equals, and then we will take on the value in fib1 here. And um, this one, um, we got a we got an error, and what's that? That's because we haven't changed the variable type down here to integer, like this. And now it fixed this. And so after here, we'll drag in another sign. And we need to uh, store the... Um, and up here, sorry. Up here, we need to int store. We will store the uh, Fibonacci number here, yeah. And then we will take the int fib2 and assign the value from up the store value from up here like this that's it that should do it because um, then we got the, the right um, Fibonacci numbers for next Fibonacci for the next uh, run through so this one should do and remember we have to make an, a delay here so we'll find a delay we uh, will choose the delay task here and that should be a um, that should be a one second delay. So we will just uh, think we will do this one second. We could. So um, uh, well, I think we will this one. I think we will just use the wait delay here, and then we can just write in the VB code like this. So now I think we essentially created the Fibonacci loop. Let's try it. runs finish and let's look at the notepad and now we see that uh, we created the first two Fibonacci, uh, the first 12 Fibonacci numbers successfully so and we could even uh, we talked about uh, what happens if we just change this one to 20 we will just create the first 20 Fibonacci numbers let's try that We'll wait a bit. Now it's finished and it should have written in the first 20 Fibonacci numbers and that's here. So that's it for now. In the next uh, episode we will uh, finish off the, Fib the Fibonacci case. We will solve the entire case with the web thing on. So watch that if you're interested. That's it for now. Have a good day. Bye bye.